this is I, the Dalek Emperor. Welcome to another Dalek cast. Our first question comes from Dylan Stolen's Burger. It reads, Why did you lock the insane Daleks in the Dalek Asylum when the Doctor had to destroy every... Oh, yes. Oh yes, I remember that. I remember when he wiped our memories. But, uh, if you must know, we got them back. Thanks to some help from Tasha Lem of the, um, of the, uh, Papal Mainframe. But, uh, yes, I didn't lock the Daleks in the asylum. That was the Dalek Prime of the, um, well, uh, specifically he was, uh, it was called Dalek Prime Minister back, back in the uh, early days, before the Resurgence Empire was even formed during the Paradigm Empire. The reason why he locked all those insane Daleks in the Dalek Asylum is because, as the Doctor said, they are so insane the Dalek Prime Minister couldn't control them. So that's why the Doctor had to destroy them. They were too... too... Um, they were uncontrollable. Anyway, um, we have some other questions. I think we have some from Jamie Alberting. Let me... Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here we are. So, uh, we have a video idea from Jamie Alberting. It reads, Could you please call this week's Dalek cast, uh, Dalek cast 252 Xenophobic Warhammer 40k Space Marines Really Enjoy Murdering extraterrestrials well or, or I could just say um, Warhammer 40k space marines enjoy murdering aliens because uh, uh, I, I don't know if I can actually fit that on there anyway uh, we also have some things here. Oh, interesting. So we have um, something from Squid1562. Um, yeah, uh, Squid1562. And it is uh, a recreated scene from Planet of the Daleks. Another scene, uh, oh, another is a uh, Warhammer 40k thing, um, called Dawn of War, uh, another thing is Xeno Quest, what the heck is a Xeno Question, I have no idea what that is, uh, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, oh, it's a Lego stop motion recreation made by, uh, Made by YouTuber apparently. Uh, uh, I don't know who this is made by, but yes, I will have a look at all of them. Also, I've noticed uh, something. Uh, I've found out that apparently the links. Just uh, so you know, uh, apparently YouTube hides comments with links for some reason, and. Yeah, uh, so, might not be a good idea to post links onto the comments section, otherwise, uh, I won't be able to see them, sadly. Anyway, 
and let's um let's um observe. Oh wait, no, hold on. We also have some other things here. Uh, video idea from Mesum from Andrew Kirkbride. Uh, first one is Daleks attack Amiga. What the heck is that? I have no idea. Um, is that a game? I don't think I've actually. What what is? Uh, what is Amiga? Um, there's another um, game suggestion um, that has been uh, has been posted quite recently. It's me monkey ball blitz um he has uh, he has been saying this off, off and on most of the time when i upload a video talking about this random game called monkey ball i've no idea what that is yeah he, he's been yeah he's been asking me and asking me and asking me and asking me and asking me um um, about this monkey ball, I have to say this, uh, me monkey ball blitz, um, I will play m this monkey ball game, yeah, just don't spam in my comment sections, please, don't, I don't, yeah, pl please don't continue to spam comments uh, all the time like this uh, okay yeah uh, just don't 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 do it anyway um, uh, also we have some video ideas um, how to basic yeah I'll have a look at it oh how to make chicken nuggets and how and not a hitchhiker's guide to Dalek. Okay, um, I don't exactly know. Oh, I don't know exactly if the hitchhiker's one is copyrighted. If it is, um, I don't know if I'll be able to play it. But um, in that case, I might have to um, do some little bits of editing there. But um, I'll probably just do the uh, uh, Doctor Hitchhiker's Guide to Dalek one. Uh, now, I know you want me to react to how to basic, but there's got to be other video ideas than just doing them, than me just watching how to basic videos. Um, Andrew Kirkbride, there's got to be other things as well, not like asking me to watch rent. Don't don't make me watch random um, random things that I've no idea that that I've no idea about. So don't do that. Anyway, uh, anyway, let's have a look at all of these then. Okay, so uh, this is the video. It was made by Andrew Ornton and this is basically a uh, a parody of a well a world renowned audio series called Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This um, was uploaded by a YouTuber known as Andrew Ornton. And he has essentially made a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy relating to the subject on Daleks. Now I have actually seen and heard of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's a very, very remarkable audio series. More popular than the Celestial Home Care Omnibus. Better selling than two thing, 200 ways to learn about zero gravity and more controversial uh, more controversial than Ulong Finn's book of philosophical 
blockbusters where God went wrong, the, some more God's greatest mistakes, and who is this God person anyway? And in the more relaxed civilizations between the outer eastern rim of the galaxy, um, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy has already um, supplanted the great Encyclopedia Galactica as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom, not only because it's slightly cheaper, but also because it has Don't Panic written in large friendly letters on the cover. So, this video is basically basically on the section of Daleks, which I am definitely intrigued upon. Also, yeah, this is copyrighted, so might need to um, do a, bit, a little bit of the editing department, so let's begin. Yes. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy has this to say on the subject of Daleks. Really? Stay away. Really, stay away. No, honestly, just stay away. They're horrible. Indeed. It is a no, they're not. It is a known fact throughout the universe that should you find yourself trapped in a room with an angry Dalek, the probability of surviving numbers in figures so infinitesimally small that you have more chance of picking up a date in the hermaphrodite abstention classes of Celibacix 6. No! Dialects, as many people have spotted, are squat, ruthless... I have several questions. ...and not terribly fr Some... Someone tells me that someone at Ursa Minor is definitely a threat to the Dalek cause. Friendly machine creatures from the planet Scarlo. Scarlo was known primarily to be a grey, stairless wasteland, which explains why one promising young scientist decided to air. It's all lies, viewers. Do not believe them. A touch of colour to the drab Carlade lifestyle by creating a race of evil, deadly war machines. See, he said it wrong. It's Carlade, not Carlade. To house the genetically accelerated remains of his species. Yes. This is generally considered to have been a bad idea. What do you mean? Davros, as this. Uh, what do you mean, known, a bad idea? A stratospheric existence in Carlade society when his original planned career as a footballer was cut short, like his legs, mm -hmm. by a 20 megaton explosive. That actually happened, just say, no, he was a good footballer, but... This is, this is all lies. Daleks are not evil. Daleks are just bureaucratic, vicious, and callous. And they wouldn't even lift a finger to save the Doctor from a ravenous bug that a beast of trial, without signed in triplicate sentence and back queried loss, subjected to public inquiries, lost again, and then buried in soft peat for three months to be recycled as firelighters. Davros's newfound creation ethic led to his rapid and brief flirtation with personal apotheosis. That power would set me up above the gods, said Davros. As he created yes. the Daleks, aware that a god with no followers is rather like the inside of a closed cupboard owned by Professor Schrödinger. It doesn't exist if no one's observing it, prodding it, or otherwise forming incorrect conclusions about the nature of its existence. Really? That didn't stop Ulan Lupin using Davros as the central theme of his best-selling book, Why Being a God Really Stops One's Growth. True to form, Daleks then... I'm gonna have words of you on Kalufin eventually. And exterminating him. And In fact, I'll probably hire Wowbagger to insult him. Thus the Daleks were born. With nothing better to do than dig their way out of a hundred yard tunnel, they decided to seek to bring about the death of every living being in the universe, one by one. 
assuming <laughs> oh. that since they were all going to oh, die yeah. anyway, Simon they could only that. be successful. Daleks are powered by static electricity and hate, and don't try to tell them otherwise. It was only wow, Belgium. After his final creation of the Daleks was signed off and filed, that Davros spotted the major flaw in the design of these would be conquerors. Wait, what? Willing to admit that his perambulatory calculations might be flaws? Davros spent the next 200 years after his death trying to conceptualize a way for his galaxy traversing warriors to navigate stairs without resorting to the obvious solution legs. Oh my god. Th that is so cursed. If I see a Dalek with legs, I, I, I think, I think, I think we're gonna need legislation. <laughs> if, 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 if this happens, if this happens, I, I'm, I might as well end up in the Dalek asylum along with the crazy uh, other Daleks. I think we're gonna need legislation. Fact this, that Incidentally, this Davros's earliest experiment is in the burgeoning field of disco physics, a discipline involved largely in the translation of repeated, precise physical movements into mathematical models of reality. Yep. However, all traces of the choreographical sciences were thoroughly obliterated by Davros after his accident, and his creations were forbidden at all costs to research the subject. Daleks never invite their creator up to dance. Indeed. And yep, you're right on that regard. It never happened. Also, Daleks don't dance. That's that's all lies as well. But then again, oh, a uh, drone can't. Cancel the disco. Drone cancel disco. The disco appointments. Um, we, we, we don't want the. Uh, we don't want Hitchhiker's Guide or Max Megalon or uh, as the minds to find out about this. Especially Zani Loop and the Verigons. But yeah, just cancel the disco appointments. Do it. What, what, whoa, whoa, what was I saying there? I've known it here. <laughs> Dawn and animated I refuse to prove I miss. The proof that I exist by um, Andrew Ornton. That was a very good video, I loved it. I especially loved the uh, aesthetic uh, rhythmic devices that counterpoint the surrealism of the underlying metaphor into whatever this explanation was about. Anyway, but yeah, it was really good. Special thanks to freshly laundered towel. Go to Mol P. O. Smith. Peter Jones Y vocal. Oh yeah, Peter Jones voiced the book. Yes, Zani we hired him probably. I should really speak to Peter Jones about uh, I should really speak to Zani Whip about this. Heavily the frog star robots don't in Enter here and start blasting as usual. I've had a couple of frog star robots and vogons to um, to add to that account as well. Anyway, um, yes, I have seen um, some. Um, I I have read the book. I have seen the. Uh, the uh, the electronic book and it does explain to me a lot about the alien trab solar system. Anyway, let's continue now and move on. 
Okay, here is the next video. It was made by Squid152. It is a recreation scene from Planet of the Daleks. This is made on November the 5th, 2023. All credit will go to Squid1562. Let's observe. Order space transporters to assemble and await landing orders. I obey. Excellent. The action of the aliens has caused considerable disruption of operations on this planet. This was a matter beyond my control. Your yes, I like the design. Also, your orders but were to exterminate them. It has not been possible. We have been unable to use the bacteria bomb. The responsibility was Exactly. Yours. You have you failed. failed. The Supreme Council does not accept failure. Yes, the Dalek definitely deserved it for his failure. There's nothing more. Oh, uh, well, what's going on here? Uh. Oh, okay. Oh. Good, good. The uh, the screen's the same size, so. Uh, so this video here was made by Captain Pioneer. It is a Warhammer 40k video. It's called The Dawn of War. It's about two minutes long. Let's observe it. Also, all channel links will be in the description below of this video. And all credit and um, the um, video links will be in the top. The channel links will be in the bottom with the um, with the uh, title credits. So all credit will go to them. That's. Is that Patrick Stewart? Stop motion. Well, I believe we're all going to die. Ah, good job. Looks so like we're engaging the enemy. I don't know who these green guys are, but they're pretty cool. Also, the red guys, the, the red Warhammer marine beings are cool as well. This is copyrighted, but okay. Okay. Oh, is that it? Okay. Uh, we have another video here. It's another Warhammer 40k, and the reason why I made this. Um, basically the reason why the title, one of the video ideas is called Xeno Questions, something I've no idea what Xeno is. Uh, this one was made by Manson Metalhead, all credit go to him. 
I'll put a link in the description. Uh, let's have a look at it. Uh, what's this all about? Some say that exterminatus is not the answer when dealing with Xenos. This is correct. You, you look like Darth. You sound and look kind of like Darth Vader. Correct. Exterminatus is the question, and the answer is always yes. Die, filthy Xenos! Ah! Well, uh, I, I didn't know. Okay. So for our last um, video, we are going to be looking at a recreation made by M.E. Brick Film. This this M.E. Brick Film is made by it is basically a recreation scene from Batman Beyond: The Return of a Joker. Now, if you may remember, the Joker in that movie was possessing. Um, I think was it. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Dick Grayson. It was. Uh, was it? I think. I think it was Damien Wayne. Or was it? No, I think it was Jason Todd. Yeah, so he possessed Jason Todd's uh, uh, Robin and um, ended up becoming him for a short time. Uh, in Batman Beyond as well, when he was older as well, he um, also got corrupted by um, a, like a virus, uh, like some kind of nano chip, which turned him into the Joker. So let, let's let's show you now. We're going to go to me brick film. No, I don't want pa Paramount Pictures. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh. Yeah. There we go. We oh, could go to him. Let's have a look at it. So, yeah. Uh, if I'm correct, Batman in this, uh, in um, Return of the Joker, in Batman Beyond, is played, is, uh, is not Bruce Wayne, it's Terry McGuinness. Uh, but I think this is the flashback scene where Robin kills the Joker, I think. To Batman. No witty comeback, no threat. Then I'll provide the narration. Ah, it's um, Mark Hamill's Joker, the greatest of the Jokers. I'll begin with how I peeled back the layers of the boy's mind. Though he bravely tried to fight it at first. Oh yeah, he got injected with the Joker serum. So strong. But all too soon the serums and the shocks took their toll. Oh dear. The dear lad began to share such secrets with me. Secrets that are mine alone to know. Oh dear. It's true, Batsy. I know everything. Behind all the sturm and batter rags, you're just a little boy in a play suit crying for mommy and daddy. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. <laughs> no, what the heck, I'll laugh anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, yeah. That's the biggest joke of all. The Joker knows Batman's secret identity. I've got slides. Very funny. <laughs> it looks like movie Joker. <laughs> Batman. If you had the guts for that kind of fun, you would have done it years ago. I, on the other hand. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh dear. This is impressive. The last sound you hear will be our laughter. Here you go, sonny boy. Make daddy proud. Deliver the punchline. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't do it. Tim. 
Oh, it was Tim Drake. Yeah, Tim Drake Robin. Do it. Yeah, uh, I don't even know because they're, they're all the same Robin in my opinion. Anyway, whoa. Oh God. Oh no. Well, I'm guessing the punchline was him. That's not funny. Indeed. Oh no! Well, he's dead. That's a uh, back girl. Oh, poor Tim. It's okay, Tim. It's okay. Oh yeah, if I remember, yeah, uh, and then um. Doesn't like the Joker possess Tim in the future and Terry McGuinness has to punch him or something. Anyway. I don't know why, but I love Batman Beyond. Bat Batman Beyond is pretty cool. Especially um yeah. Whole story in line with Terry with Terry and uh, him and Bruce like punching bad guys and that. Um him um Bruce being kinda like the uh the mentor, the Obi Wan kind of guy to uh, Terry, it's pretty fun. I just, I just want to like a live action s a film with uh, Terry McGuinness. Because although like Bruce Wayne, Terry McGuinness is pretty badass. Not gonna lie. Anyway, um, it's time to end now. If you enjoyed this, remember to subscribe for more. See you all in the next video, then, viewers. Farewell. Oh, yeah, and all credit will go to uh, all, all the pe fine people who have been making these videos for today. Anyway, bye bye. Thanks all for the enjoyable video today. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Dalek Empire. Or you will be exterminated. There will be no resistance. And the God of all time.